the real cost of a ransomware attack. A school district in the western part of our state was shut down for a second day because of a ransomware attack. From ransomware. The ransomware attack. Hackers attacked one of its servers. With cyber and ransomware attacks growing, the state is trying new ways to help stop them. So we built this exercise to really focus on the municipalities, the, the local government, and then some of our critical infrastructure partners. So in the exercise, we have local government, county government, IT professionals, community colleges, and universities, as well as uh, a couple of critical infrastructure partners. So they're getting a chance to do an IT-focused exercise. They're actually on computer and seeing what a, a real attack looks like in real time. But the goal, again, is not for them to stop it, it's to see the way that an attack unfolds so that when they leave here, they can stop it in the real world. We, we don't necessarily get to see all of the extremes, but now we're learning and being taught on the exact same playbooks and the exact same structures of these real world attacks. Just the ability for you to take four days and train us basically from ground up on how to use different tools and, and use these different playbooks to kind of map out an attack and see where, okay, here's point one, it's going to end here but how are they going to get there? Really what this exercise is meant to do is to fit into the state's overall response. So this is a smaller exercise that feeds into the state's all-encompassing exercise where they focus in on the true consequence management with senior leaders, decision makers, to allow the state to respond no matter where the attack comes from. Whether it's within uh, the cyber domain, a hurricane, a snowstorm, this is really no different.